Okay. Okay. Boomer. Boomer. Whatever you say. Hey, listen. If anybody tells you that Marvel Future Fight is dying, just tell them, look at Cynic Alex's luxuriously long hair. The game will never die as long as I have long hair. Until I cut my hair, this game will never die. Anyways, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. I just woke up like 40 minutes ago and I have my coffee and I'm feeling good. So we got two things to talk about today and they're pretty interesting. The first one, a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Twitter, on Discord, online, asking about these icons and where they went and Marvel Future Fight ripped you off and your, your account was hacked and all this stuff. So I'm going to just bust it down for you real quickly here before we get into the real topic of today's video, Yelena and Black Widow uh, data mine information. So I go over to my future pass. I click on, dope, nope, fat fingers. I click on the acquire for free just so it can flex on you guys. Boom. I get my 12% future pass XP. I click over here. Ooh, future pass icon, Professor X acquired. Okay, here's the mistake you guys are making. You're going over here right away because your PP is hard and you're like, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh my God, where did it go? No, that's not what you do, okay? It's really dumb. It's really dumb, but you go over to your inbox, I believe. Okay, I lied, you don't go over to your inbox. You go over to your inventory, okay? And it will be right there, it's right there. And then you click use, and then use to acquire a new beginning and you click use, and then you acquire it. You have to see that acquire screen. Now, the reason why I went to the inbox is because for the Black Widow legendary battle, when you get her to tier three and then you want to get her tier three icon, it will go into your gift tab because all legendary battle rewards go into your gift tab. So for that one, it's actually an, an extra step. You have to beat the legendary battle. I mean, buy the extreme one tier three Black Widow, beat the legendary battle, go into your gift tab, collect it in your gift tab. And then you'll have to go back to your inventory like I just did with Professor X. Now, when I go over here and I go over here and I go over here, you can see that it is acquirable or not acquirable, selectable, bada bing, bada boom. And suddenly I am the big brainiac uh, Professor X. So we've covered that. Now, hang on, let me get my future pass uh, XP right here by just pretending to be ready. You don't actually have to play squad, uh, not squad battle. You don't actually have to play world event you just have to sort of zone in and you'll get your ooh, 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 that was like 18 percent xp i actually really like the future pass i think i think it's i think it's underrated i think they could get rid of hear me out hear me out i think they could get rid of heroic quest okay uh especially these trash ones lol and they could put these three characters on rotation once every month a different character and they could put that as an extra reward in the legendary or Ah, but that's not free to play friendly because it doesn't cost crystals anyways okay hear me out scrap the the mythic one the mythic one's trash i don't know anyways just a thought i, I it's unfinished i'm not going to finish that thought it's 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 it seems rusty but anyways i just i feel like the future pass and the heroic quest are the same but the future pass feels it feels like a better version of the heroic quest where the heroic quest tells you to do something specific the future pass is just like whatever we're, get, we're gonna give you a little bit of xp for everything you do so i prefer that to the heroic quest because I can still play the game daily and weekly and monthly the way that I want to play at the, at the, you know, doing the things that I want to do in the order that I want to do them. Um, and then I'll still get the rewards as they rack up. So I pref I honestly do prefer this here to the um, Heroic Quest. Anyways, if someone has a better idea for how they can merge the Heroic Quest, I realize that you can't charge $10 a month for one of those characters because free-to-play players do have access to them being 750 crystals. I don't want to take that away. That was a mistake. So anyways... Moving on to the data mined information about Black Widow and Yelena Belova. This is big, ladies and gentlemen. This is big. So shout out to our resident data miner, Ow Wow Pink Chode, Ow Wow. Uh, and let's take a look at what they found. So we know that they've already data mined a white suit for um, Black Widow and a non snow suit for Yelena. So basically the the inverse of what you're seeing right here. So Black Widow will get her 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 white fluffy snowsuit and Yelena will be getting a uh sort of black stealth suit with her her down, okay? She, she's getting her, she's getting her her down. Uh so she's not going to be braided up anymore. We are pretty much assuming these are going to be synergy uniforms. If they're not synergy uniforms, I think it's absolute BS. I think they have to be synergy uniforms. 
um but as you can see from the icons for black widow specifically i don't i guess you can't find the the icons for yelena maybe there are no skill changes for yelena but for black widow it looks like almost five skills are being changed now three and four look very similar in terms of the icon but all five icons are changed now this is interesting because like for multiple reasons for one i really like black widow's new skills like on this uniform so i don't necessarily want to change them especially her fifth skill i actually i know i know we're a little bit tired of the helicopter but i actually really love the helicopter the black widow back backup fire i really love the perspective change where it goes into the scope so i really hope they don't change that because that they worked hard for that and i think it's really really cool um but secondly Marvel Future Fight and the devs have not been changing five skills for characters recently. Like, I cannot remember the last time a uniform changed all five skills. And even when you change multiple skills, the devs have been too lazy to change the icons. And I'll show you what I mean here. They changed uh, two or three skills. I think three skills for Captain America, for Hydra Supreme. Um, and as you can see, they left two and three the same. So it's actually pretty jarring for people who have um, that sort of perfectionist uh, perspective. And sort of attitude because it's like green blue blue green green and it's like Ugh, why can't these two skills just be green it's a really small thing but it actually does matter you know and it's weird because you see him with the regular shield and you you see him like in the icon it looks like steve rogers uh the normal steve rogers the hero steve rogers but then in the other ones you're like oh it's hydra rogers and it's green and you can see the shield is not a circle it's this weird you know crest shape so this is what they've been doing more lazy kind of stuff i mean they could just change the icon without actually changing the the skill that could be a bit misleading but you know whatever they mislead us anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah they're changing all five skill icons for black widow so the snowsuit could be a big power creep over her um marvel's black widow uniform and this one is already strong that's the crazy thing the other possibility which is pretty cool is that this uniform seems to be very good for pvp there's a possibility that the white suit will just be very good for PvE. And that would be really nice. I think that Marvel Future Fight and the devs need to explore this idea more. Uh, they, they sort of tried to do it with Spider-Man, but they failed miserably. Uh, so they need to do it. G Jean Grey is a better example. They did milk us out of two, like, two uniforms. It wasn't a synergy uniform. But it is a very good example where this uniform is clearly better for PvP. This uniform is clearly better for PvE. Like a lot better for PvE. You compare the squad battle and the ABX scores. I mean, she can't even do universal ABX. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a it's a big upgrade. And uh, especially for th something like squad battle and ABX, where there's the universal tag restriction, you can use her with Ghost Panther. Whereas here you can't because she's Blast and Ghost Panther is universal. So yeah, pretty big news. I don't know if that's going to discourage people from buying this uniform, but I do appreciate the data miners finding that out. Oh, but wait, there's more. Holy crap. Yelena Belova's getting an awakened skill? What? So yeah, apparently there's an extra skill in the game with an extra skill icon. And you can see she's back to back with uh, Black Widow. And it's called the Red Room Reunion. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. A lot of people were hoping that Yelena would get the awakening skill instead of Red Guardian. The fact that she's getting an awakening skill could indicate that these are meant to come out a lot later but why they're already in the game files if they're going to delay this all the way until november is a little bit of a question mark to me they knew we were going to data mine it so yeah i'm not too sure about that um it does give you something to look forward to it's like this is why data mining is good because awakening skills are expensive and i actually just awakened mystique so i actually don't have um any mandalay fragments but let me go ahead to the page and show you what it looks like so you know if, if for example if i really want where the hell are these are these characters if i really want yelena to be awakened can i will i ever find these characters okay here we go if i really want yelena to be awakened um i'll start saving my mandalay gem fragments now it only takes me about a month to farm them up but it's still important for players who can't farm up as many or who have someone in the interim that they want to awaken or whatever obviously i don't know what the next few months are, are, are going to hold for us maybe this awakening skill and this new and these new uniforms are going to come out in a couple of weeks but it seems like a bigger update is planned you know you've got two uniforms and an awakening skill did they do all of this for just a two-part update maybe or maybe this is planned for november so we could be waiting a long time for the snow uniform and the awakening skill but now we know that they are in the works 
so you should expect them if you absolutely must have that snow uniform then you have to bank and save up um, at least 630 crystals if they don't make it synergy they have to save up a thousand it would be really dirty if they delay this until november and they don't make it a synergy uniform i think that's really stupid i think any character that gets a uniform within like eight months of each other it has to be a synergy uniform it just has to be it's ridiculous when they do that uh they did it to deadpool and it's just it's such a cash grab it's crazy um and then for yelena that's wild like yelena's already really good for pvp let me remind you that awakening skills have ignore iframe so she's gonna have two skills with ignore iframe and that awakening skill hits like a truck so she's gonna be so she's gonna be a serious contender for you know like epic pvp battles so it's nice to see more speed characters making their way into the meta it's nice to see sort of uh, new combos and new team ups uh, evolving and sort of growing out of this. I think this update has been surprisingly good as a shakeup for the meta with multiple speed characters uh, being pushed ahead and having a lot more firepower with things like Taskmaster and uh, Mystique's uh, passive. So, you know, giving you access to it, whether you're free to play or not. Uh, this, this passive I'm talking about for PvP and being able to sort of punch up because the problem with a lot of these level 70 characters even silver surfer for example is they don't have enough damage sometimes um to take down you know to kill a tier 3 thanos who's all tanked up with a ctp of regen or a tier a tier 3 Jean gray with a ctp of regen with her third skill regening but with taskmaster or mystique on the team you absolutely have a chance to one shot them with how crazy that 45 or 40 percent increased damage to superheroes is so i'm pretty excited um, I want to see how they handle this with Black Widow. I would personally like to get this content sooner rather than later. Um, but Marvel Future Fight has been, I would say, a little bit more stingy with the with the update stuff rather than less lately. Um, I I you know I ultimately want to see game modes. I want to see their you know the promise that they made to to rework timeline battle, the promise that they made to rework Alliance Conquest. Uh, but I also want to see this before November. It would be maybe it'd be lame i don't know it's tough maybe it'd be lame to not get any black widow stuff in november but then it would also be kind of lame to see this now and then wait till november you know what i'm saying so yeah i don't know if there's a good uh sort of middle ground maybe if we're super lucky they can release this in a couple weeks and then also release stuff for the black widow movie who knows maybe we give us taskmaster tier 3 or taskmaster awakening skill in november i don't know but anywho i think sooner rather than later we're also going to find out i don't want to make too big of a fuss of it now but yeah uh, sooner or later, it's going to happen where the um, the real bottleneck for Awakening is actually the uh, Awakening Crystals, not the Mandalay Fragments. But that's going to take me, I think, at least six months, five to six months to recognize um, because I still have a stockpile of Awakening Crystals from before Mandalay was a thing. So, yeah. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this re these revelations. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.